question or comment for the Georgia Gang, visit their website at mindfoxatlanta.com. Obamacare, the Affordable Health Care Act, uh, uh, starts this coming week. October 1st is, uh, is the official start date. And uh, it used to be an abstraction, now it's a reality, but is it really a reality? It doesn't look ready, it doesn't look ready for prime time. Georgians are playing a big part in this. Uh, mm -hmm. Congressman Tom Graves uh, got the leadership to support his bill, which the House passed, which would uh, uh, defund Obamacare and keep the government running. Yeah, right. But which our senators in the Senate. Which, our, when, which our senators oppose. Right, and, and Senator yes. Saxby Chambliss and Johnny Isaacson oppose that, though they say in several statements this week that they are Republicans thoroughly opposed to Obamacare. Right, yeah. exactly. Isaacson right. Point out, he's pointed out that he's voted against it about 40 times and, and so forth. But, uh, but here it comes. But when we say here it comes, all you can find is negative news about computer software systems, not mm -hmm. lying. Yes, exactly well, right. Anyway. That's right. And part and, of and, the problem and, is and that all because... All this thing being postponed. Everything's being well, postponed. Well, the main reason, and in, a lot of the reason in Georgia, anyway, is because they were so hoping that Mitt Romney was going to get elected that they wouldn't have to go through with it and everything oh, would be reversed. Supreme Court, so Supreme Court, Court would reverse it, exactly. Reverse it. So they decided to put everything off and say, we're not going to prepare for this. And that's part of the And problem. we're not prepared in Georgia. I mean, we've, done, we've not done anything. We haven't set up an exchange. We want to... We, 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 I don't know. How how many is it? 1,800, I mean, 800,000 800, people who would get health care. We don't want them to have health care in the state of Georgia. Uh, and and, and so we've got, you know, we've got some serious problems. And then, of course, we, you know, we've got this poll from the AJC. The next week. And a poll by the AJC is showing that most people oppose Obamacare. And I think that it's because of all that negative news, Dick, that most people in Georgia oppose Obamacare. But then you ask them, do you support, um, uh, you know, doing away with uh, with uh, pre pre preconditions? Pre yes. Uh, do you support uh, well, uh, allowing your kids to that. stay on your insurance until 26. In the yes, Obamacare they support the bill. major components of the <laughs> bill, but you say do you support Obamacare, they say no. no, no so not, there's a real disconnect there. You're not to talking me. about the same AJC poll, though, because they didn't get into all those details when you asked them, when the AJ, AJC ran their poll, they only asked three questions. Um, so that's, that's not the same poll. Well, well, I also weird. think that it's going to be an economic boom, really, to the state, because with all those people buying health care, that, that are eligible to buy it, it and they're going to create jobs for people to service that population. I mean, I think it's going to create Do you want a navigator jobs. to have all your personal information? Well, they already do in the, in, with your insurance company. They have all your personal information. <laughs> let, let me tell you why this will not be an economic boom. Um, my husband and I, he recently switched jobs this past summer. And for a month we had to re receive, or we had to sign up for uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. For two, there's two of us, they don't have any children. Um, for two of us, it was a $179 for us to have the standard 80-20 health care. Um, if we were to sign up under Obamacare, it would be $442 every month. And that's what we're and that's, that is the less coverage than what I would receive. How old are you, Megan? I'm 29. See, young folks are going to get hit harder. That's and right. the reason yes. is so that old folks can have insurance. Exactly. Well. Which is exactly <laughs> why. And that's, so, and, and that's it's it's, sort of, it's an awful it, thing. And I know you hate this, but it is, again, the Social Security paradigm. We've been paying through the nose when we were young so that we could provide elder, we could provide care for elderly people. And Obamacare is a clear parallel. So, so now you're going to hit me with Obamacare and Social Security Absolutely. and every other tax that you I pay. You know why? Absolutely because ridiculous. Because you're 29. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, going back to our days at the afternoon newspaper, yes. you wrote how many columns urging the privatization The of privatization Security. of Social Security. Absolutely right. And the only thing that I can say now is that it's the third rail, as you know, of American politics. You sure. touch it and you die. But in 1935, there was the kind of opposition to Social Security, as you know, it was called communists and socialists. And we were Going, we, were, we were going down the road of communism. There were the same arguments that we're hearing today about Obamacare. And my prediction, I won't be around here to say I told you so, but in 50 years, this will be the fourth rail of American politics. You won't be able to touch and universal health care for Americans. I was going to say, and hopefully it will be a universal single-payer health care system. Not, it's not going to survive. It can't work. It's going to fall in on itself. That's what they said about Social Security. And, uh, <laughs> but this is going to disillusion people. Look, we've already created a conservative rock star in Ted Cruz just, just through one filibuster. I, you American know, it's, people, a, it's unbelievable. American people flocked to him because he was speaking to them. He was 
speaking to them, but he was also speaking to his fellow Republican senators who said, what are you doing? Sure. And if I keep getting these calls from your constituents, I'm going to personally uh, come see you. And so, <laughs> you know, Ted Cruz is not a favorite among his own party right now. Wow, after that 21 he's a freshman. Hour filibuster. He's a freshman. And it reminds me of Strong <laughs> Thurmond in the 1960s fighting civil rights. I mean, at some point, Republicans have got to get on the right side of these issues. we got to get out. But in the meantime, Thank the New York Times <laughs> CBS News poll <coughs> pointed out that uh, Barack Obama's popularity is down to 41% and declining. And more than 60% of the American people feel the nation's on the right track, wrong track. And that's what happens when you pass a bill like Obamacare without a single Republican vote in the dark of night and admit you haven't read it. Okay, when we come back, winners and losers. Power, power of the